Okay, in this video we're going to talk all about the marginal rate of substitution. The marginal rate of substitution of x for y is the rate at which a consumer is willing to give up units of good y for more units of good x, holding utility fixed. So let's say that the marginal rate of substitution of x for y, good x for good y, is 5. What does that mean? It means the consumer is willing to give up 5 units of good y for one more unit of good x, holding utility constant. So we're moving along an indifference curve where utility doesn't change. Another example, marginal rate of substitution of x for y is 1 third. The interpretation, the consumer is willing to give up one third unit of good y for one more unit of good x, again holding utility fixed or constant. The marginal rate of substitution of x for y equals the absolute value of the slope of the indifference curve. So the absolute value of the slope of the difference curve, where we're putting good y on the y-axis or the vertical axis and good x on the horizontal axis, the absolute value of the slope is just going to be the change in y over change in x, and here I have the, the bars to indicate we're taking the absolute value. Indifference curves are downward sloping, so we're going to lose the minus sign, and that's what the marginal rate of substitution is. In calculus notation, uh, it's just going to be uh, dy over dx. And the marginal rate of substitution of x of good x for good y can be shown to equal the ratio of the marginal utilities, the marginal utility of good x divided by the marginal utility of good y. And so here's an example. If the marginal utility of good x is 5 and the marginal utility of good y is 4, what is the marginal rate of substitution of good x for good y? So we're just going to take the marginal utility of x here, which is 5, and divide it by the marginal utility of good y which is 4, and we're going to get 1.25. In this case, the consumer is willing to give up 1.25 units of good Y for one more unit of good X, holding utility fixed. Um, here we have sl uh, slightly more complicated uh, equations for marginal utility of good X and marginal utility of good Y. Uh, they're no longer constant here. And with these equations, what is the marginal rate of substitution of good x for good y at x equals 2 and y equals 3? So forming the marginal rate of substitution is a marginal utility of good x divided by the marginal utility of good y. I'll make my substitutions for these, uh, with these equations here. And then we're just going to simplify uh, following the rules of exponents. This x to the minus 0 0.5 becomes x to the 0 0.5 in the denominator. Um, likewise, this y to the minus 0 0.75 becomes y to the 0 0.75 in the numerator. And we're just adding up the exponents on the y terms and the exponents on the x terms. We get y over x. Now for y, we're going to plug in 3. And for x, we're going to plug in 2. So we get a marginal rate of substitution in this case of 1.5. Uh, another example, if the utility function equals x times y, which is a marginal rate of substitution of x for y, and the slope of the indifference curve at x equals 10 and y equals 2. So let's get the marginal utility of good x. We're going to take the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to x. Doing that gives us back y. And the marginal utility of the utility function with respect to good y gives us x. So the marginal rate of substitution is going to be the marginal utility of good x divided by the marginal utility of good y. So we're going to get y over x. And if y is 2 and x is 10, the marginal rate of substitution here is 0.2. The consumer is willing to give up 0.2 units of good y for one more unit of good x. And to get the slope, since the marginal rate of substitution is the absolute value of the slope of the indifference curve, just put a minus sign in front of this, and the slope at that point on the indifference curve is minus 0 0.2. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.